Hello there my friends, what is up? Hope all is going well in your world today. Um, right now we got a brand new episode of the DVD Studio Pro series. Um, just so you guys also know, we only have two more episodes of this series left. Um, beyond that, it's mostly whatever you guys want to see. Um, if you guys still want some more of these tutorials, um, if you know there's something unclear to you, if there's something that you know want a little more explained, um, leave the suggestions down below in the comment section. Um, anyways, today in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to get some music into your menus. Um, along with how to loop your menus and make it um, all look a little more fluid. Um, so anyways, here I've got this basic menu. I've heard it simulate. You can kind of see what's going on here. Nothing's really happening. Um, but um, you know, let's fix this problem. Um, so probably by the first thing we want to do is um, by adding some music to this. So down here in the Assets window, come over here to the Import button. Hit that, and um, here i got a Brandon Berkman Cherto number 4. This is royalty-free music from IncomeTech.net. I believe it's a website, it might be .com, I'm not sure, but I'll put a link down below in the description. Um, it's a great website, all it's got on it is just a bunch of um, royalty free music. It's all free to download, and I, um, I highly recommend it. Um, so if we were to just preview this, we can kind of hear what it sounds like. So that's it, it's pretty basic, um, you know, nothing really fancy, so let's just import this into our project. There it is, the status light is green, and all that we really need to do is just take this and um, put it on top of the menu that we want to, you know, have the music theme um, playing on. Um, also, if we double click the menu, um, over here in the inspector window, uh, underneath the generals tab, at the bottom, if we look at the audio, we can see we can see the Brandon Brick and Charito number four, and also if we simulate, we can also hear this. So everything is looking A-OK. -okay. Um, however, one thing that you definitely want to look at is the length of the song. Um, looking at the length of the song, it is 7 minutes and 17 seconds long. So that's pretty long to have a loop on it. Um, and let's say like the loop point was at about, you know, maybe 30 seconds long. Um, so that means um, as soon as the uh, DVD would play from you know, 0 to 30 seconds, it would instantly restart the song and it would um, probably sound pretty awkward to the viewer. Um, you know, watching this DVD. So probably one thing um, you want to, you know, kind of keep in the back of your mind is the length of the song. Um, some ways to kind of conquer this is a by finding a short song, or you can also always edit the song um, using some um, sound um, sound software. Um, probably one of the main ones that you guys have out there is GarageBand. Um, if you don't have GarageBand, you know, there's always um, Apple's Logic or Soundtrack Pro. But you know, all Macs do come with GarageBand, so you should have it. Um, if I just find the song, there it is. Just bring it into the project, drag it on in here. There it is. Um, and probably the first thing you want to do is just kind of play it from the start and try to find a um, place in the song around 30 seconds long um, for you can kind of cut it. And uh, also, just as a tip for you guys, down here, um, we have a couple of different options of viewing. We have measures, tuner, and also a project. Um, but at the very top, there's a time log, so we can actually see how many seconds have passed. So, it's kind of a nice little tip, and it's pretty handy. If you're in the song, it actually sounded pretty good right there. It kind of sounded um, like the song was being resolved for a second. Here, I'll play it back and maybe you guys can hear it. Then right there, um, we're going to stop it and then um, the DVD is going to loop back to the start. Um, and if you look at the time, it's just about 32 seconds. You know, that's a good length. You know, the audience isn't going to, you know, be like lingering there for a um, super long time. and you know, it won't be super short where they don't have enough um, time to pick an option on the DVD, but about 30 seconds is what you want to go with. So I'm going to hit the A, cool, uh, the A key to bring up the automation tool. And um, basically what that means is just um, it can uh, help more or less make a fade out. So on this um, blue line here, just make two dots. Um, one at um, the start of the fade out and the one at the very end. The one at the very end, just take it and drag it all the way down like this. And if we were to hit the play button again, we can kind of see how this fade out will sound. I like that a lot. I think it sounded pretty good. Um, you know, fluid. It wasn't very of an abrupt, uh, abrupt end. It just kind of sounded nice and it was smooth and fluid. I liked it. 
Um, so now all we have to do is just take this song and bring it into our iTunes. So normally in a GarageBand project, you're gonna have a little um, end arrow just like this. Take this and put it on the very last part of the song where um, we want it to have playing. If we zoom in here, we kind of see what's actually going on. Um, there it is, and something probably just about right there would be fine. Um, just right after where um, the fade out ends. Um, and if we play again, you know, we can kind of see what's going on. And then it stops. All right, so that's exactly what we want. That's perfect. Um, so what we want to do now is just to send this to iTunes. So over on the top where it says share, come down here where it says send song to iTunes. Click that. And then um, we can kind of create a little bit of a um, iTunes playlist. So let's just say video. I don't really care about that, but you want to make sure that it is a AAC um, encoding with a higher quality um, setting because this is more or less, you know, as um, high resolution as it will get. Then it just, um, just hit share and it will export for you pretty quickly. And then it will um, open up in iTunes. There it is. Um, and now we want to um, find this in the finder. So just right click it and then where it says show in finder. Hit that button, and boom, here is the song. And so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So just take this, bring it into uh, into your DVD Studio Pro um, project, and just drop it into the Assets window. Um, the green bar, there it is. Um, so we now use this in a project. Um, if we come back here to the main title screen, the one that we were looking at earlier, um, over here in the Inspector window, in the Generals tab at the bottom, there's a song, we can just hit the minus button to delete it. And then um, we can take the uh, music loop, the one that we just made, and drag it back on top of the title screen. And then um, now we actually have the, um, a loop going for 32 seconds um, for the, um, well, the loop isn't actual loop yet, but the music loop is going to be 32 seconds long. Um, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. Um, however, one thing that we do have to do now is set the uh, DVD to loop itself. Um, by doing that, it's pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is come over here to the um, inspector window, making sure that the proper menu, um, menu screen is selected. And then under the Generals tab, just come down here where it says Start. Make sure that's at the very first frame. The loop point is where it's going to loop back to. Again, make sure that's at the very start frame. Um, and then the end one is probably going to be the most important. Right here is at 32 seconds. And, uh, 32 seconds. Um, that's exactly what we wanted to do. So if we were to simulate this DVD and make sure everything is playing smoothly, um, we can do that. So just bear with me for a couple of seconds so that we can actually uh, make sure that this is working properly. That was awesome. Um, now, if we had, you know, obviously more than one menu, um, we can go ahead and just apply this to a couple different menus. Maybe get some different songs in here, um, and make you know everything all fancy and handy dandy. So, anyways, that was the tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, leave those down below in the description. Um, also, if you guys want to see more, um, hit the subscribe button up top. I'm making these once a week on this channel, um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy these. Um, also, if you want to stay more connected, um, you can like us on Facebook. That link is down below in the description. Hit the like button, and I'll update the page every time I upload a new video. Um, at least I'll try to. <laughs> so that's that. Any further questions, send them to my email, uh, medievalhollywood at gmail.com. That is also in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I shall see you next week with another tutorial. See you then.